Welcome back to the channel. I am here for week six of the cut. Please, please, please make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment if you enjoy. Um, we're starting this week in the gym, of course. Where else would I be? Um, but we're starting this week at 67 and a half kilos. We're going into week six, three kilos down. So a little bit behind schedule in terms of where I wanted to be with the numbers. So things are changing. We're pushing up to 12,000 steps a day. Um, which is going to mean a walk every day is compulsory now. Um, I can typically hit 8 to 10,000 without going for a walk, but now I'm going to have to get it done to make sure that I tip over that 12,000, which is not a bad problem to have. I've just realised my camera's like slanted. Is it? Isn't it? Is it just like the way I am? No, I therefore think it is. <gasps> it is too. Look. Let me fix this. That's better. Camera straight. Okay, try again. Yeah, so steps are going up to 12,000. Um, I'm going to pull calories a touch to 1,800 as opposed to 1,850. It is currently Tuesday morning, so things are going to go into effect from today. Steps up, calories down 50 a day. It's going to be a tough week managing everything. Um, I've got a full day in the gym today, morning and night. I'm covering Jamie. Um, but also we had some pretty crap family news yesterday so I've got to fly home to Ireland for a funeral um, one day this week. If anyone knows Ireland they know funerals are very quick out there from, from when you pass away so I'm going to have a funeral in like the next two or three days. Which means I need to figure out my stuff, sort flights, know where I am, know where I'm going. So it's going to be a lot, um, especially for me to manage those things. I'll likely, you know, take the day off, the day of the funeral. But I want to stay on track um, every other day because I've got a goal to work towards and I've got a deadline for that. So um, that's important to me. So yeah, it's going to be a busy week. There's lots to manage and there's lots to work around. But nothing we can't do and nothing we can't prepare for. So sort some flights today so I know what days I'm in the country and what days I'm not, that'll be a good start. And then um, I'll just go from there with the rest of my routine to figure out what's gonna be the best plan of action this week. But steps definitely going up, calories coming down 50 a day. Let's get to work. up at the gym and getting everything shut down and off ready to go home it's tuesday evening we're finishing the day on fifteen thousand steps today which is perfect um, i'm all packed ready to go to ireland tomorrow last minute um for a couple of days so i've done all the work i need to do i'm all packed all of that's done i'm opening the gym in the morning so home food shower early night back up again at 5 a.m to get myself here for morning pt tomorrow train home get myself ready and i'm getting picked up at 12 to head to the airport so busy morning tomorrow busy night tonight time to get myself home and get a good night's sleep
Here we are again, back in my favourite spot for getting ready. Um, what was I even saying? Oh my god, this is how tired I am. Yeah, so I got back from the gym, um, had a nap because I'm just wrecked. Um, everything's packed, ready to go. I've showered, washed my hair. It's like 90% dry, so I've just chucked it up so that I can do my makeup. I don't know if anyone else does this, but I've packed all of my makeup in my bag before I put it on to make sure that I've got everything that I actually need. Um, so, I'm pulling it all out. I'm going to put my makeup on and hope that there's nothing I need out of my drawers. Because if that's the case, then I've got everything that I need to do my makeup. And I just tip my eyeshadow everywhere. Brilliant. Um, so, fingers crossed. Yeah, I've got just over an hour before we leave. So, I'm just going to do my makeup. Um finish off drying my hair and do that and then i'm ready to go so chilled but not ideal we're going to today obviously we're going this afternoon we fly like quarter past three from cardiff and then i'm going to be in ireland until saturday night um it was a double it was double the price to fly home on friday so my mother was like yeah we're just gonna stay an extra day i don't work saturday anyway so that's fine um so that's what we're doing the funerals tomorrow so tomorrow's gonna be like a completely don't care kind of day like we we're, we're gonna get drunk let's be honest um catching up with family some of my family from america are gonna be home and things so tomorrow's just gonna be whatever happens happens but trying my best to stay on track with nutrition steps all of that kind of stuff every other day i'm currently on three and a half thousand um so i'm hoping i'm ready a little bit earlier i'm just gonna do some laps around my island in the kitchen while i wait for for my lift to come get me so that as well as like walk around the airport and everything else just go and see everyone tonight i think i should definitely hit my steps for today so yeah let's get ready Doing the sensible thing for once in my life. It's quarter to two in the morning and taking myself to bed. Me and my mother went to the pub for one pint tonight and now we're leaving well i've actually left my mother in the bar um i'm absolutely frozen through to the bone and we're up in like five six hours for the funeral so i'm going in i'm going to bed okay let's catch up um it's monday morning and the last video i done was when did i get to ireland wednesday Wednesday night was the last video of me walking home by myself, leaving my mother in the bar, drunk, very drunk. And it's now Monday morning. Um, well, it's actually Monday afternoon, it's quarter past 12 at the moment. I took some time off work, um, took some time off everything for the last couple of days, actually. Obviously, with the family death, everything was just stopped sudden um, and overnight. I had to up and go to Ireland, which, which was good, you know, like as good as can be expected um everything was fine there where we're from there's no signal or anything so i just took the time to just completely take time off hang on bella what are you doing um yeah so i just took the time completely off and had a few days to unwind and just rest which didn't quite go to plan because I'm now in absolute agony. I've pulled my back again. I don't know what I've done. I think it was carrying the bag on one side, going through the airport. I spent most of Ireland doorstep on painkillers in agony um, and struggling. So it's not been a great weekend. I got home around half nine Saturday night, just collapsed and went straight to bed. And Sunday, I li we literally went... To be in cage, pick up tiles for our bathroom, done a food shop, and I spent the rest of the day on the sofa in pain. Um, so it's not been the week that I planned on having in terms of the diet. Nutrition wise, um, obviously wasn't great while in Ireland, but I knew that was going to be the case. It wasn't bad at all. I was having two meals a day because the two meals were higher calorie than usual. 
I'm okay with all of that. I weighed this morning, I'm sitting at 68.1 kilos, 67.3 was my low, so I'm around half a kilo, give or take, um, heavier at the moment. So that's fine. I'm absolutely okay with that. That'll settle back down. My concern now is moving forward because training is all had to be changed because my back is in half. Um, so I can't lift, I can't do any of that. Steps were on like the, the higher end of things. Um, I was at 12K, I was gonna push a little more this week to make up for obviously having a couple of days like completely off track last week. But I'm not gonna be able to do that because I'm just gonna make myself worse. So we're just gonna take things as they come now. So to conclude on last week, everything went up in the air. That's what happens, life happens. This this whole um, track in the dieting is about being real world, real life. Shit happens, life throws curveballs at you, things don't go to plan. And you've got to work around those things. I made the decision to take a couple of days off and I don't regret that, I don't feel guilty for that. I'm just gonna get back on track with what I can today and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm only now eating because when you're in pain, you don't really feel hungry. Um, I had a little bit of a training session this morning, 20 minute EMOM, um, literally just taking it as easy as can be. So we're going into this week with no expectations because I've just got to take it day by day. Sum up the week, we had two days on track. We had to drop everything and fly to Ireland. I got home. Um, late Saturday night and I've had bad back um, again and just more or less been bed bound so nothing's really gone as planned but that's okay we move on as always thanks for watching this week's not gone the way we went but next week we're going to focus on getting back on track and from today onwards we're going to be tracking everything as normal so as always make sure to like subscribe all of that jazz and I'll catch you in next week's episode